Hi guys, good morning. I'm out on the trail doing a quick walk. Um, I have like 30 minutes before I wanna get back inside, have some breakfast and get to some work and also change because I'm still in my pajamas from Saturday night. I have not changed since Saturday night. Um, so I want to shower and change before I have a meeting at 10. It's like 8.30 now. I woke up this morning to edit the vlog. So tired this morning, so this walk is really, really, really nice. I find that when I'm tired, the first thing to go is always my morning routine, but then when I'm like in the thick of it and I'm like not having like a productive morning, or hang on, what am I trying to say? When I'm really busy and really tired, the first thing to go is always my morning routine, and I always regret it because my morning routine is what grounds me and what sets me on the right path for the day. So this morning I wasn't gonna go to the gym, but I was just gonna do like a walk and like a Pilates workout at home. Um, but when I woke up, I was so tired, so I was like, I really just wanna like make a cappuccino and I was playing around with my Breville as you guys just saw this morning and I think I'm gonna sell it. Um, I think I'm just gonna put it on like Facebook Marketplace but honestly, it's just too difficult to use and I've been lying to myself for the last year saying that like I'm good at using it. I'm not, like my cappuccinos are fine but my espressos are horrible. They aren't pulled right, they're too watery and then whenever I try to like get them right, they just, they're never right. So I really just want an easier machine. So I'm gonna look at the Keurig. I'm like panting, I don't know why. I'm gonna look at the Keurig or the Nespresso today, whatever can like also froth milk. I'm gonna look at that and I'm gonna sell my Breville. But I just want something that's much easier to use. Like the Breville is not easy to use. Like unless you're an experienced barista or you wanna take the time to like learn it, it's really a difficult machine and I've had it for a year now. Like I got it this time last year and I just like want something easier to make cappuccinos. Like I don't wanna have to be weighing out my beans and like, oh my God, it's such a mess. So I need something easier. It's really cold so I have my gloves on and I'm listening to Kenzie Elizabeth's episode with Brooke about books and that's really freaking awesome. I have a room in my house that I wanna show you guys and I need your opinion on because it's like the last room in the house that I don't know what to do with it, but we were talking about making it like a movie room, but I feel like I should make it more of like a workout room, put like a treadmill in there, a sauna in there, and do like whenever I do at home Pilates, I can do it in there. I'll show you guys when I get home like where it is. But anyway, I'm just on the trail right now. It feels really good to be out on the trail, I'm really cold but it's fine, feels good to get the morning sunlight. Andrew Huberman would be very proud of me. But it's Monday morning, I have spin tonight, and then other than that, I'm just home for the rest of the day, which is my favorite kind of day. So, see you guys later. really annoying thing he like really needs to go he freaks me out one thing about me is like I'm the most impulsive person ever so oops. I posted on my Instagram that I was selling the Breville and one of my clients at stride responded and she was like oh my god I'll take it so I'm gonna bring it to stride for her tonight so I think I'm gonna get the Keurig K Cafe special edition single serve K-cup pod coffee latte and cappuccino maker. And um, it's available at my Target. So I think I'm gonna go pick it up today and then make coffee with it. Ooh, I can get a chai latte pod. Marketing really gets me. Like I just was buying oat milk and then I saw Chobani's oat milk and it says extra creamy. I'm like, oh, I need extra creamy. Oat milk is already creamy. Like let's pull it together. I'm so impulsive, like literally, I'm like, I'm gonna wake up, make a cappuccino. I'm like, oh, I'm having trouble. Let me sell this and buy a whole new machine. That's done. Now I need to get upstairs and get started on some work. Also, you guys, it's December 5th today. And I have so many Christmas candles that I need to burn. So I need to pick one and bring it up, I think. Mm, that one is so nice. Buy that? 
I wonder why. Mm. Oh, I'm definitely gonna do this one. This smells so good. Okay, I need to change. These are literally, dude, there's something about this outfit because the last time I wore this, I did the same thing. I did not take it off for two days. It's just so comfortable. How are you feeling? I feel like maybe I've done it a couple times. So I've been like, hang hey, on. I don't know. Daddy. <laughs> I like yeah, your makeup looks so pretty. Oh, yeah, girl. Gorgeous, Liv. You're so beautiful. It's gorgeous. Oh, oh stunning. My Target order's ready, I'm so excited. Um, I wanna pick it up before it gets too late to have a cup of coffee. It's 11.30, so I think I'm gonna have plenty of time. Um, but I just made my spoon playlist for tonight, and I'm just going to edit my, or order my groceries really quick. I don't know, I just can't be bothered going to the grocery store. I really don't like going to the grocery store. So I would always just rather um, order them on Instacart and I said this in the other day's vlog I feel like I help the economy when I do Instacart because it's like a job you know like someone this could be their job or like side income it creates jobs I don't know that's how I justify it there are some things that I don't like I really don't door dash as much as I used to because it's such a waste of money but this is just such a great convenience of my life that I feel like I really really need it all right, so, and I wanna get raspberry tea because so many of you guys told me that that helps with period cramps. And there was another one that I need to look at. Oh, it's pregnancy tea? I'm just gonna do the organic raspberry leaf tea. <laughs> ginger tea with lemon. Okay, I'm also gonna get that. Oh, lemon ginger tea, that sounds better. Ordered, now let's go pick up my new coffee maker. This is what I'm talking about when I say like, I'm so impulsive. I, I really need to change, but I'm just not gonna do it yet. Like I'm going to Target. Like I don't need to be Miss Glamorazzi. Love her. The way I just simply don't care about my appearance today is slightly concerning. Okay, so I have this room that technically is like the way that this house was built, this could have been like a flex room, but they finished it out to be like a bedroom with a full bath and a closet. Now, the thing is, like when you walk out of this room to the left, that's my garage, and then that's like my upstairs to the main level. So it's just this hallway, those are just closets, and then like this room. So it's kind of like a weird room. And at first I was gonna use this for my planners, but now that my planners are being shipped by my printers out in California, I don't need this room for my printers or for my planners to be shipped from here. So we were thinking like, oh, let's make it a movie room in here. But that just wouldn't really make sense because we just watch movies upstairs in the living room. Like we don't need another place to like watch movies. Plus like a couch is expensive, TVs are expensive. Like I don't need to buy all that stuff just to furnish a room. So I've left it empty. But lately I'm thinking like, what if I made this like a little wellness room? Because I really want a sauna. I really want a treadmill and I really want a place to do like Pilates at home. So I'm thinking if I just got like a treadmill in here, a sauna in here, and then a space to put my mat. The only thing is I wish this wasn't carpet. I wish this was rubber flooring, but because I'm running it, I don't want to like rip up the carpet. And I don't think my landlord would like even approve that, but it's technically like the basement. So it's a good space for it. Or if you guys have any other ideas of like what this room could be, but I mean, it's a rather small space room, but it's pretty good. Full bath. Yeah, it's nice. Let me know what you guys think. I just don't like it all stand by that, but 
there's a difference between just like not enjoying a book and then shitting on everyone who likes it and then saying because you like this book you are stupid. I I really am so impulsive. Like I need to not be like this. But I am. Okay. Let's unbox this thing. It's not heavy at all. The way I thought it was going to be as heavy as the Breville. The Breville, I'm not kidding, it's like 50 freaking pounds. The way I just, like, I almost wanted to check the box to see if it was empty because I was like, there's no way that there's actually something in here. But I didn't check the box, so. All right, so obviously this is the Keurig K Cafe. I think this is a special edition. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if it's a special edition. Let's see. Here I K Cafe, single serve coffee, latte, and cappuccino maker. That's what it looks like. Anyway. Um, so I also got chai latte K cups so that I can make chai tea lattes. And then I got a dark roast for espresso. And I got more oat milk. That is better. Okay, so this is the milk frother. I feel like I have a nice little nook right here. I did get a coffee bar, but I like my main thing being over here. One thing about me, I'm the baddest alive. I just hope this is much easier to use than the Breville, otherwise I just sold my Breville. <laughs> okay, so then this milker thing goes in here. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay, so let's, this is just cleaning, okay? So I'm gonna make a cappuccino. I have some oat milk to finish up. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I have enough for that. I like to add a dollop of sweet cream. Wait, is this sweet cream? Yeah, sweet cream to my drinks. Well, I guess I'm like kind of doing a lot, so I'll just make a latte. All right, I'm making a latte, not a cappuccino. Latte. Okay. Oh, now it's frothing. Okay, that's so easy. My Breville could literally never. Could never. All right, now I'll do the other stuff. So that's frothing. Okay, then in here. Oh, frick. I've been saying frick so much like a 14 year old. Why did that sound like that? Oh, I guess it's a thing. Okay, so you do that and then Latte cap, shot, strong. Okay. And you can also make them cold, but I'm doing a hot one. Oh, you know what I want cinnamon to? Hang on. <gasps> it's all done. Okay. Let's, let's, um, and then this said can go in the dishwasher, but I'm pretty sure I'm left hand, I'm right handed, so okay. It smells amazing. I wish I was ambidextrous. Okay, a little bit of cinnamon. I'm so excited to try this. My first latte with the K Cafe. Done in. It's good. Worth every penny. And this one also makes, I'm just like stirring it to see if, just like I feel like pouring it doesn't like mix it. You can also make just like a regular cup of coffee in this. Mm, this is really good. All right. I loved it. It's so easy to use and 
it's way cheaper than the Breville. Yay, I'm really happy. The weird thing is it's like 1 p.m. though. So I actually think I'm gonna eat this with a little bit of pasta because I'm hungry. I need some lunch. I'm in such a dilemma. Okay, at 1 p.m. I ate pasta. 1 p.m. I had the leftover pesto from Friday night. 1 p.m. It's now 4.30 and I'm about to go teach 5.30 spin, so I have one more hour, but I'm still stuffed. Like, I'm so goddamn full. It's unbelievable. I'm so full. And normally, like, I've been teaching spin. It'll be six years in March. So over five and a half years, I've been teaching spin. I've only ever overeaten one time, and I felt so sick from it. It goes away after a while. Like, afterwards, like, when I'm done, like, in the moment, I feel fine. But then when I'm done, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so, I feel so sick. I don't, like, I ate four hours before spin. I normally eat, like, five seconds before spin. You know what I mean? Like, I'm... Food never affects me when I spin. But when I tell you, like, I am so freaking stuffed after that pesto. Oh, my God. It's just sitting like a lump. But I still have an hour to, like, really digest. So I think I'm going to be fine. But, like, literally, it was 1 p.m. Like, I know better than to stuff my face before spin. But even so, like, I'm normally fine if I do. pasta at 1 p.m. and like the way it's just not at all digested is like it's such a problem oh god at one it still feels dude it's what kind of sauce was it pesto which is like light it's not that heavy but yeah I feel like it does have cream it's a little bit no it's just pine nuts garlic i love pesto me too i love pesto and me i mean your mom used to talk about that because when we both when i got back from italy that's all you wanted Cause that all oh, so good there. Pesto is so good. And then she said you made it. You felt like a good one. Yes! Who's your Oh! 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 You got it! Yes! Yes! My guys! Oh! 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 Who's your I know you guys are gonna be Cause he pointed out! Oh, on the side! And she just like keeps playing with her hair. No, I'm hiding it now. <laughs> CK, what do you think of class? Um, Tori sucks. <laughs> Stop doing isolations. <laughs> Please. No, but then I said, okay, we'll do it next week, and you said, do it. Yeah, I do too. Want to be in my vlog? Oh, that We're just hurt. Do you want me to cut it right now? Oh, I know. Like this little dance. Because I'm not spending the money. You want me to cut it right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I totally found this perfect because I'm I know, vlogging too! Well, I'm, I'm cutting right Rachel's now. hair! I'm about to do it myself, but I'm scared about doing it myself. When, yeah, I'm cutting you. your hair. Do you right want to get the sharp like scissors? <laughs> I trust her. You want to get the sharp scissors up front? <laughs> I usually cut my own bangs. Do we need oh, like wait. a comb? I used to do that. Oh wait, Rach, I'm going to use these. Oh no, these are dull. These are dull. Did uh, you cut this hair too? Your own hair? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> well, I trust you because we did that day. Yeah, right? Did I Not me, but... Too? All right. No, right. but I'm fed up with this. And I I'm gonna do this, this is guru Tori. No, this mm -hmm. is like the epitome. All right, Rach. All trash. right, you can need to sit down in the, the client's chair. Yeah, you sit. Um, that back might be too tall. I might just have you what about the sit seat? on a bolster. How much you... Just like dead ends? No, I want it shorter. Like... Oh. Maybe Honestly, to my Rachel, armpit. I would say two inches. Wait, I have a brush. Let me get my brush. Yeah, like two inches is good. I would say two inches, and then you can always go shorter. Yeah, I can go shorter. Yeah, start with more. two inches. All right, let's sit here. Wait, should I put a ponytail? No. 
<laughs> That's what you're supposed she's to been do. She's pushing my tooth. <laughs> yeah, I know so too. Oh no, she's at the salon right now. I'm like fully gonna cut her hair. Wait, did someone buy this? Welcome to Stride yeah. Salon. Wait, did you see my story this yeah. morning? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sarah bought it. Ooh. This hood's in the oh, way. Oh, cute. Yeah. So I have it here for. She's coming tomorrow morning, and she's taking Alfred's class. I wanted something like, but well, then I was what? like. It's so like not like what you friendly. said, not yeah. like everyday use. I got the um, Keurig barista one, the K Cafe. I think it's oh, I got that. I love I it. I love it. I have it, and I've been. And it's I've used so it for easy. So long, yeah. Yeah, Rach, all this is dead. I know. That's why I said two inches at least. It's so dead. It's so long. Welcome to That's Stride why I'm tired Salon, of, no, where we cut your hair, this is such make a you feel to more empowered and embodied. <laughs> <laughs> It is a throw. You did who? You did two people. I did Jules and Chelsea's. Oh my god. Yep. I remember we came out of class and we were like, holy shit, you cut the hair. Yep. Do you need an assistant? Do you need an assistant? Scissors. Scissors. Wait, people just walked in. The door's locked. Or walked out. Is the class done? Oh, Pilates. Oh, Pilates is shit. It's okay. Yeah, that's, that's all dead. That gotta go. Look how much, yep. Less, do do, more. Do you see it in the camera, Rach? It's all dried. Wait, More. Do it where it's the deadest. I mean, do it. <laughs> she could see. Right. Alyssa will tell you. <laughs> She's I'm like, like I don't know. As long as I can. Oh my okay. God. So Caroline, that's so cute. Right? Hello, core. Right. I love it. I so much better. <laughs> yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna Ooh, feel so good. Do you feel like good. your your head's lighter? <laughs> I do. I grew this hair out for all the weddings I had, and I, I, know, I didn't want short hair, but shop. now I need it. I need my hair. I don't like too. it this long, because then it gets to no style. Like when I wave, wave yeah. it, it's good. It looks nice. That's why I cut mine. I was like, it was just hanging. Yes. Me. When it's straight, it does not look good. I like the wave. When I do the wave, it looks good, but like. Yeah. And look, You're the so balayage cute. is all the way to the bottom. <laughs> is that a Snapchat? No. Okay. How to come to Katie Brennan? <gasps> You're doing amazing. That's how bad I want my hair cut. No, I trust you. And I left her enough length to go get it fixed if need be. It looks really good. My hair won't shed as much by now because oh my god, my hair sheds like crazy. But I wish I knew how to give light. Wow. Thank God I do some. I was gonna just put it in ponytail and cut it myself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why no. do people do that? I see that all over the place. Don't you? <laughs> not you on your. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you would want to do it on yourself. Yeah, for bangs. Not I'm not cutting back bangs, hair. Rach. No, you don't have to do that. Rach, this is like already the same length. Yeah, weird. I know, because you know why I think that was shorter. Oh, That yeah. must have been a layer. Like layers and angles up front. Yeah. Fuck. Because otherwise your skin will be so tight and so inflamed. Like, it'll like literally turn red because it like, it's so raw. We should have taken before and after pictures. I know. Oh, we should have. I do have a pic recently picture. Hang on, let me just make sure it's even. I love to see how much hair on the floor. one side is not longer than the other. Wait, can we check this out? Okay. I kind of bodied it, right? <laughs> yeah, no, you did. You like, did. That looks good, right? <laughs> okay, Rach, let me show you. <laughs> it Wait. does. It's perfect. Right? Now they kind of look alike from the back. We do. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> I'll show you how much I cut off, too. Okay, Stride's also a hair salon. Trims by Tori. No, literally. Ooh. Rach, this is everything that I cut off. <gasps> oh, man. I thought oh, look giving at all it that. to me. That's oh, do you want <laughs> I love to see that. <laughs> oh, do you want it? No, what the Wait, wait. Ew, yeah, it's dirty and nasty. Rats nasty. That's, That's weird. Same. <laughs> same we got the earrings into it the same. They look so it. good, Rach. It does. Good job. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're welcome. Oh, I wanted to see you. I was expecting you to cut the ponytail. <laughs> no, I'm glad you did not do that. Oh, Woo! My arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your arthritis. Oh, no. Here, I'll come up with you because I have to yeah, bring my stuff up. I gotta go home. Who's driving it? Just got home from Stride. I just took a shower. I really just want to read my book, maybe finish it. It's in holidays. It's so freaking cute. I'm like, I'm not a slow reader. So I think I'm gonna make raspberry tea. I'm supposed to get my period this week, but I never, like, it's not my real period because it's like a pill bleed. So it's like a withdrawal bleed, right? 
That always kind of freaks me out. So I'm supposed to get that this week. Um, so I'm gonna start drinking raspberry tea tonight. And I also got lemon or ginger tea with lemon because you guys told me that is also good for helping with period cramps. So I'm gonna do raspberry tea tonight and then lemon ginger tomorrow night and just every night this week just have some tea to wind down and read my book. But yeah, class tonight was really, really fun. It was a team teach with one of my other instructors, Kelly, and it was just like so much fun. And you guys saw that I cut Rachel's hair, which it's like crazy that she let me do that because so long ago at Stride, I cut Jules's hair, um, who was in the vlog a couple days ago. And another one of my friend Chelsea's hair in the back room at Stride in like 2019. And it was so funny that they like let me do that. And then tonight Rachel was like, will you cut my hair? And I'm like, yeah. So obviously don't do what I did because I just used literally construction scissors. So don't do that. Um, but I told her, I was like, you just have to go get it. Like if you want layers, like I mean, just go get the whole thing fixed, honestly but I appreciate the confidence and I love that she let me do it because it really is fun. It's like cutting my friend's hair. I don't know why they all trust me so much to do it. Can we friends? I hope so. say good night um i finished in a holidays it was so cute like so predictable so cheesy so corny but so cutie it was a really cute little book i just quickly 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 want to say i know that there are a lot of vlogmases out there right now and i really appreciate you guys watching mine i know that there are so many to choose from so the fact that thousands of you guys watch my vlogmases every day is really i'm very honored and i really appreciate your time and um it, it just means a lot that you guys choose my vlogmases when there are so many out there and so many bigger creators than me that have way more subscribers views followers more interesting lives stuff like that so i just really appreciate you guys and um i just love you guys i'm having so much fun and I can't believe tomorrow is Vlogmas Day 6. Or actually, today's Vlogmas Day 6. Tomorrow is going to be Day 7. That's already a week. And I'm having so much fun. I'm really enjoying this. So anyway, thanks for watching my Vlogmas, guys. I love you. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.